Good evening folks of YouTube. So tonight, this is our first game photographing football for war. It's got to be since uh, just after Christmas. I think my last game I actually did was on this the, uh, the 2nd of January. And uh, since then, I, uh, I broke my foot. So I've not been, uh, been able to walk around too much and uh, it's been a bit of a struggle. And uh, not only that though, but the, uh, the game since the 2nd of January have been pretty much postponed due to bad weather, flooding, ice, frozen pitches, uh, teams who just couldn't make it, etc. So it's been, um, yeah, it's been really a bit of a bit of a challenge to get out with the camera to do some um, sports photography. But that being said, it's uh, now towards the end of January. It's uh, my first, well, my second game of the year I've actually managed to cover. So I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, we've got Pershaw Town versus Newent Town, um, and Pershaw are away at Newent's ground. Lighting-wise, it's not too bad either. Uh, the cameras um, I'm using tonight. Uh, I've informed you that there's a bit of flicker on the LED floodlights, which is a bit of a shame. The flicker set, in, set on both cameras, which is the uh, 1DX Mark II and the 7D Mark II. That kind of slows down the shutter speed a little bit uh, because the, the camera tries to uh, time the shutter release with the phase of the lights changing so that you kind of always get uh, the best illumination possible. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's always a challenge at uh, grassroots games with uh, floodlights and the, the quality of them you know, vary from place to place. It's uh, literally a couple of minutes now before the players come onto the pitch, so I'm going to get myself in my final position. Um, tonight's game, I've uh, found this nice bright floodlight above me, uh, which is just on the 18-yard uh, the line um, of the goal to my right, um, with the clubhouse to my left. Um, Lighting-wise, it's uh, not too bad. Like I said, uh, these LEDs have got a bit of flicker to them, which is a bit of a shame, so a bit phased. But um, I think uh, this position will give me... Uh, some good action shots across the pitch to the dugout for the managers as well as capturing the uh, down the line balls which i'm looking for so yeah get myself set up get the players as they come out of the uh, the tunnel or out of the clubhouse i suppose out of the changing rooms onto the pitch get a few shots there and yeah settle down for an enjoyable game So guys, we're probably uh, midway through the first half and uh, what a half it's been so far. Not in the way of goals, but uh, just injury after injury. Uh, obviously the guys on the pitch here uh, haven't played for like nearly a month. And uh, yeah, they're, um, they're going in with full force, but obviously uh, they lost a little bit of their conditioning for playing you know, game after game, week in, week out. So uh, four weeks without playing any real competitive sport. And uh, yeah, the guys are really taking the tackles a bit hard and um, they're not riding the tackles like they would do uh, previously. Uh, currently to my left, one of the players is receiving treatment, so we're down to 10 at the moment. Uh, but the game's still going on and um, yeah, a little bit scrappy, but that's not to be unexpected considering uh, the lack of game, the lack of game time these guys have had for the past uh, past four weeks. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna carry on and uh, yeah, catch up with you in a minute. No sooner had I finished that piece of the camera, Bershaw crossed the ball over the box. The keeper just got his fingertips to it, but not enough to put it out of play. The ball fell to James Baldwin, who slotted it home for Bershaw's first goal of the game, 1-0. So second half and now Pershaw are 2 0 uh, quite a scrappy goal right on the goal line. Lots of bodies trying to kick the ball away but uh, unfortunately uh, yeah, Pershaw got the goal and uh, Newent conceded. So uh, yeah, another injury, uh, number two has been down there probably three or four times struggling with uh, something long to do with his calf I suspect or ankle. Uh, but uh, I don't think he's going to be on the pitch for much longer. 
and uh, yeah, Pershaw now just starting to warm up and enjoy the game. A bit of a duality in the uh, in the ranks. So uh, yeah, good game so far. Like I said, a bit scrappy, but uh, yeah, it's all coming together for Pershaw. So uh, that's now 2-1. Uh, New in managed to score. Nice, lovely free kick. Uh, Scotty Loader got his hands to it from top left corner, but unfortunately just um, uh, couldn't get the ball over the crossbar, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, so a nice uh, nice goal by Newent, um, and uh, the pressure is now on in the final few minutes of this match for uh, both teams to try and uh, put the game to, to bed, either for uh, another goal for Pershaw, take it 3-1, which would be perfect, or Newent will just try to equalise 2-2 and probably play it out to the final whistle. But uh, yeah, it's turned into a reasonably decent match over the last 15 minutes. As predicted, Pershaw will get their third goal to make it 3-1. For now, a comfortable lead into this uh, into the final minutes of the second half. So uh, yeah, I think this is going to be uh, uh, a good good result for Pershaw. So yeah, nice to be uh, back scoring again, top of the league still, and uh, yeah, should be uh, looking forward to the next game. <laughs>